This is how immature little girls respond to you and try to control you when they don't like you and they don't like the fact that you're a man. All right. Y'all go ahead and pay attention to this clip. I'm sitting by the car and she's talking. And keep in mind, I'm doing some paint work on my vehicle and ain't paying no, no mind while she doing this. Baby, wait a minute, wait a minute. How that saying go? Forget you, forgot you, never know about you. Okay. Hey, what's going on y'all this is master teacher of attraction and in today's video i wanted to talk about something that you guys may have noticed something that you guys may have felt uh and this is for the dudes all right what you may experience first of all let me get to the title women sometimes project penis envy on you as a man okay and i just wanted to give y'all you know some of the stories that uh flow to my mind so it can go help and help you guys out, okay because see throughout time even before all these social medias and uh televisions what some people call the idiot box um we used to make a fire in tribes, and we'll talk by the fire. It was some of the greatest information passed down from generation to generation, and that's what this represents, okay? So go ahead and sit down. Let me tell you some stories so you can learn. All right, so check it out, right? So I remember I was having a conversation with a woman. Uh, that I was talking to and it was in relation to her tires on her vehicle and y'all know me I like working on cars our grandpa uh, used to you know lace us up with game when it came to maintaining the vehicle so we pretty much held on to that and I use all that information to this day so you know I was telling her because she used to be my downstairs neighbor. And when I was looking at her car, because our her car and my cars are in a parking lot or driveway, not my cars, you know, the business vehicles. Um, if y'all want to learn more about that, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section. I'll go ahead and put something together on Patreon for y'all. Um, but in the driveway, right? So I was looking at her tires. I'm like, hey, your tires uh, look kind of off because I got an eye for that. Um, So I let her know. And she was like, ain't nothing wrong with my tire. Ain't nothing wrong with my tire. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm like, well, okay, Miss Little uh, Independent, I can do it all by myself. Okay. I was just trying to help you out. To see, and this is another video right here. M masculinity, one of the traits of masculinity is to, just like how this light, what this light is doing, to shed light. Because one of the traits of femininity is dark, darkness. 
Okay, so the easy way to look at it is masculinity represents the sun, and then, excuse me, femininity represents the moon. So whenever y'all see these solar eclipses, that's the sun behind the moon, and that's the what's giving off that that, that different uh, light to that moon is the sun. Okay. So the moon is reflecting off the sun. So it's the same thing between man and woman, or that's how nature intended. Now, getting back to the story, that's all I was doing. That That's in my nature to do that, to want to help not just people, but animals and other organisms. Okay, that's why I got this YouTube channel. So I was, you know, trying to make sure, you know, she knew at least to check it out. And then she started giving me that stanklet. Okay. And something that I noticed with this particular woman, she, she's, she used to tell me stories of uh, the women that she used to look up to when she was growing up. And she always told stories of uh, being told that you never want to rely on a man. Um, you always want to, get your own, which I can, you know, kind of get with because some men are still in the adolescent phases of uh, be, just being a male. Like they haven't gone through a rites of passage to even become a man. Okay, that's first off. So they're, they're not they're not ready to be men. So these women get with males okay they get with males and then they're not ready to uh lead that woman or just like this light is doing shed light to help lead the woman through the darkness so they go through that a couple times with males and then they kind of like yeah fuck these niggas but fuck these chads <laughs> whatever they call them nowadays um so they start listening to, you know, elders that had the same experiences and just pretty much to put it in a nice way, sucked at uh, attracting men or sucked at following the right man and attracting the right man. Um, so they started, you know, listening to each other and passing down this game that you want to detach yourself from a man. OK, so in order to do that, a woman has to come out of her nature um, of being feminine. She has to try to imitate light, just like how these lights, you know, imitate light. But the true light comes from the sun during daylight at a certain time. So what you guys may be experiencing with some women is that um, they just have penis envy, like they wish they were men. They do it. They try to do everything and be male, male behavior. Um, so they're always in competition with you. So that's what was happening when I was telling her about her tires. And she said, everything is okay in my tires. I don't need you telling me. Like she was really feeling some type of. And the other thing that I noticed that uh, is a downfall for a lot of women is their friends. They surround themselves with friends that think the same way and that keep them down and keep them out of their natural essence within the natural femininity. So, you know, she just had a couple of things going on uh, that didn't let her mind get right. And um, she proceeded to tell me everything was OK with the tire. So I took her outside, grabbed the tire pressure monitor. We looked at where the uh, recommended PSI for a tire was inside the door, and then we measured her tires because I already knew since it was uh, the temperature dropped past 10 degrees, normally tire pressure goes lower than from where it was. Just That's just physics. So she didn't know that, but she felt like she know, knew everything trying to compete with me. So we looked at her tire pressure, and lo and behold, 
the tire pressure was under the recommended and not just by a little bit. It was down by like seven PSI. So she could have ran somebody family, somebody child over on the street because her tires failed. I've had it happen before. So I already know it can happen. But with me, it was like an extreme temperatures, like negative 45. So that's a different story. Um, so, yeah, that's just one of the many stories that I have uh, dealing with some women that, you know, they have this penis envy and they want to be a man. So that's why it's very important to give women that you're prospecting uh, instructions. OK, and these instructions are in line with your purpose is within line with your schedule is within line with what you're trying to do, okay? Now, see, if this was back in the tribal days and we had a little campfire, these are the type of things that would need to be passed down from generation of man to the next generation of man. And at advanced level, the newer generation can give feedback on what's going on so the older generation can give the game on that too. But the older generation are also learn from the new generation. You see what I'm saying? So that's how these things work. That's how these universal laws work. Whenever you're out of line with universal law, it don't matter if you got looks, money, status, that's even as a woman. Okay, you got your career, you got your PhD. It's been many a women that have already come to the past. I remember one of the um, ten folk within my family, we was at a, a barbecue. And my mom says she used to look up to this particular woman and, you know, she, you know, career driven, working downtown Chicago. Right. So she, you know, pretty much was telling us that. You know, it started having effects on her body. OK, the female body is not made energy wise or uh, physically. To do those things in and out. Actually, uh, the etymology behind career is pretty much going to battle. You can look it up yourself and uh, look at that and check it out. So um, she pretty much was just, you know, telling me and my mom about her experience of going through that and applying it within her life and the results that she got and. That's what she was telling us, uh, you know, certain things started happening with her body and, um, you know, that's why you may see some women, you know, start chopping off their hair because of uh, different things is going on hormonally within her body. OK, so that's just something to keep in mind. Um, always test, especially if you're dating in America, always test to make sure. Uh, you're given instruction, and sometimes these women, are at, you know, they they come at you like on some on some demonic energy type stuff, like a demon up in them. And why do you think you can talk to me like that? Would you talk to your daughter like that without even realizing that they're they're not in a position of being your daughter? Okay, so you know they you know come up with these different scenarios and things. And whenever they get to talking like that, you got to go ahead. Some people say charge to the game, charge them to the game, because what you got to understand is you got to view yourself as a business or, or a ship. OK, if you're the captain, you letting everybody know, yo, this is where we about to go. and We're going to be here at this time on this day. And they giving you a whole bunch of back talk talking about, oh, yeah, oh, uh, that ain't going to work. But why? But why are you doing that? Why are you doing it that way? How come you don't want to do it this way? But your mama black, all this stuff. OK, anything that's outside of what you said and gave as instruction is disinterest. Shout out to Miss Lucario. Because he's the one who says that all the time. So I'm letting you guys know that that, you know, that is true. 
anything outside of what you're trying to do in relation to you, once it come out your mouth, in any form or fashion, be it text, phone, whatever, message, she letting you know through, through her, her uh, pretty much her energy on an energetic level. She not feeling you, boo boo. You got to move on. And that's where I want to say this too. I notice a lot of dudes have issues with moving on with women. Y'all having issues with your body. You having issues with your health. Okay. When you when your mind when you start having these insecure things going on with your mind when it relates to the opposite sex, most of the time you have hormonal issues. Your testosterone D. Um, DHL, DHT, DHT levels, thyroid, um, adrenal. You may be having issues with that, and your home, your hormonal system is all over the place. So the solution that I have for you guys is the last damn guide to weight management. I'm gonna keep talking about that course till the cows come on because y'all really need it. When you start to get your hormonal level, when you start to get your physique right. And then once you get your physique, you start matching your physique with the clothes and making sure they fit. Then you're going to start to notice what women are actually interested in you. OK, that's why y'all run into all these games and everything with women. Women play games with dudes they don't they're not interested in. OK, and that's why y'all think, you know, y'all got to take them on nine dates and all these things. and uh, Wait 90 days to do a particular action with them. It's because y'all dealing with women that are not into you. You want to deal with women that's into you, but you got to give them a good bait. Okay. You don't go fishing without bait. That's why I always say dating is like fishing. You got to have a good bait. So work on your bait. I'm teaching you how to improve your bait. When you're going for catfish, you want to use what the catfish want to eat. Something stanky. You feel me? Some cut bait with some garlic on there. People even put uh, Kool-Aid and garlic and throw it out there on a hot dog. Okay, but you got to have your bait together. Women are attracted to healthy dudes. And my healthy is going to look different from your healthy. So we all going to attract different women because they be into different stuff. So stop listening to these dudes that's, uh, you know, raiding each other's faces, other men's faces and things. We don't talk about that stuff at the tribal campfire. Okay, that's not being passed down in, in this generation over here at this campfire. All right, so y'all go ahead and check out the last damn guide to weight management so you can get your physique, get your health right, and you can get all that stuff together because it will help. It'll help you mentally, you know, get rid of the women that's disrespecting you and start attracting women, and then you can give these instructions to test them and see which ones is following and then you can see which one is cooperative all right you guys i'll see you on the next video peace today i'm gonna show you how to lose weight fast as hell all joking aside if you want to learn how to lose weight and keep your health together in a consistent and predictable basis for the rest of your life without listening to the lies from the government. Listening to the lies that's all over with these social influencers that are paid to sell weight pills that don't work. Go ahead and click that link down below. As you can see, I clearly know what I'm talking about. Here's your proof right here. Do you know how to do what I know how to do? No. You wouldn't be fat right now. So go and learn how to do it. I'll see you there.